Well, here's another quick one for you folks. Had a couple guys ask me they wanted to um, see how I powder coated. That's about as boring as it gets, but okay, if that's what y'all want to see. Um, these are these are double alt buckshot. These are number one buckshot that I tumbled on my rock tumbler, which I got the Harbor Freight one, but that big old collapsion that I built right there myself works best. There's really nothing to uh, powder coat, folks. I mean, it's about as easy as it gets. Um, Tupperware bowl. Some uh, red powder coat paint. Or some purple powder coat paint. Let's, uh, let's do the double alts in purple. This is sophisticated as it gets, folks. <laughs> you put them in there. And you put the lid back on it. You commence the shaking. Now, when I tumble them, for some reason, it seems to make the powder coat stick a lot better to them. I'm going to shake them up one more minute. Then I'll show you the next part of this really complicated procedure we got going on here. That's probably good enough. Alright, Dave. Well, they're purple. I got a little screen here. I got it at Walmart in the spaghetti aisle section. <laughs> um... I dump them in there, powder and all. You just pick it up and you start shaking it, folks. And you can see the powder coat coming, the extra powder coat going away from there. You watch on the bottom and you don't see no more. And it's done. A little toaster oven. Heating up right now to 400 degrees. Purple pellets. Dump them all on there. Level them out a little bit. Throw them in there. About seven minutes. And they'll be done. You take your powder coat that you just shook off. And you dump it right back in your bowl. You might want to have a dry rag to wipe all this stuff up when you're done beauty of my new little reloading room here which used to be a office camper uh, it's a it was a now uh, yeah excuse the floor we got to redo the floor but it used to be a construction site um, office camp building mobile office what I guess they call it I got to do all my rifles and stuff over here and over there is all my shotgun junk. I don't know why I put it all in here because I plan on laminating the floor. But back to what we we're doing. This is about as easy as it gets, like I said, folks. It'll be about seven minutes or so. They'll be done. A lot of people will turn around and dump them into cold water. And you can. It will instantly cool them. They will come right apart for you. Most of the time, I just dump in a pan. Air cool them. They'll cool right off pretty quick. Nothing hard to it. Uh, well, while we're waiting a little bit, we got red already set out. We could do it in blue. Or green. Or pink. Or black. Or a really light neon green. I don't even know what God's name color that is. But we got red sitting there on the table, so number ones. Just drunk. I mean you ain't gotta powder coat these things, guys. After you run through that rock tumbler, they polished. It just keeps from uh fouling your barrel up with lid and stuff. But this is as sophisticated as it gets. 
everybody wants to see it. You, you can do it many different ways, but this is about as easy as it gets. And I'll just take my little paper plate again, and I'll set it over there. And I'll set my strainer back up on there. They're well powder coated. My powder coats, I buy on eBay, folks. Just whatever it is. I don't hunt down specific brands. I buy whatever's cheapest and works good. There they are. They're ready to go in the oven. Ready to go in the oven and ready to get dumped back into the pot. A pound of powder coat that you buy goes a really long ways, folks. I mean, some kind of long ways. Let's take a peek. They're already changing. They're going to be dark, dark purple. It won't be but another minute. They're done. They'll be so dark purple, they'll almost look black. Uh, yeah, there ain't much difference in that and then the black paint, to be honest with you. But as long as they're coated is all I'm worried about. A lot of guys like it when I powder coat them like that red and then I, you know, make them up. Then I'll turn around and uh, put a red overshot card in them and put them in a clear wad so you can see all the pellets inside the, the hull in a clear hull. A lot of folks, just they, they love that. But that's... That's about all this is, folks. Let me show you how purple they are. I don't even know if you can, well, you can tell they're purple, but they, they darn near black. We'll get a couple, about one more minute and they're done. That's it. You let them cool off. You put them in your bowl full of pellets and start loading them up. As soon as they cool down, and uh, you can load them up, do what you want to with them. 15 minutes, you can turn it into a shell after that. There's not no whole lot to this. Biggest thing is, you know, do it at 400 degrees. Usually seven minutes will do it. A lot of guys, I mean, you can go 10 minutes and it don't hurt a thing, guys. I usually just wash until they get that real bright, glossy coat to them. Because you see right now, they dull as they can be. They're almost flat looking. Um... We'll show you the red ones here in a minute. I don't want to make y'all sit through this whole video waiting for both of them to get done. Yep, they're done, folks. they just as purple as they can get. And just dump them out, folks. Make sure we're doing some gloves with this. I don't hear no more scalding their fingers off. Doing it another way. See, that blue paint on her from before, they didn't hurt nothing. They got a runaway pellet. I didn't caught him. There they are. That's purple. We'll do red here. Shoot, let's go and do red. What a difference it make at this point. Red number ones. Going into the pan. Now, these, you see how dull they are. Now watch when they come out though. Turn my timer back on. Seven more minutes, folks, and they'll be good as gold. Now these will stick together a little bit when they, as they cool down and harden. Smack them one time with your hand, they pop right loose. Easy peasy. Some of them get so glossy, they look like they ain't coated. But they're coated. It's just they're extremely glossy now. It keeps from fouling your barrel. And uh, it also looks cool. And it adds extra hardness to the lid. I believe it does. I can't swear to that. I'm no chemist. I'm just a backwards hillbilly country boy that loads bullets. It's just a dying art. Folks don't do it no more. 
now that nobody can get bullets, a whole lot of folks want to do it. <laughs> but um, it is what it is. Hopefully, this will go pretty quick and we'll be able to wrap this video up. Let me go get the container to put these in and I'll show you how easy they bust up in a second. You've been taking your hand, just run your hand across some folks. Put a glove on if you just roll them around, they won't nothing stick together, they'll all be busted free. Then I turn around, take them over to my 32 cal jug, and I turn the pan up. And now, I got 32 cal buckshot, double off. Next one that we're making right now is 29 cal. We use them as number ones. I also make 30 cals. They're more like a super buck. When you buy a factory buckshot, super buck, uh, about 28 cal is about the average size. 28, 28 and a half is the average size. When, when you buy Winchesters and Remingtons and they're calling it number one, it's 28, 28.5 caliber. Um, it's it's been that way for a long time folks. It's just the way they do things Make y'all for wonder because when I was a young man and we had 30 cal moles I was wondering why I couldn't get 24 pellets in a, a Round and when you're a young man, it's hard to figure that stuff out because you're seeing you got companies telling you number one buck They're getting 24 pellets in it. Well, they're getting 24 in there because it ain't number one buck <laughs> uh, But that's the way it goes. Now see, they're starting to turn already, folks. They ain't got glossy yet, but they turn it. It won't be but a few more minutes. And they'll be just as done as they can be. They'll be bright red. Really bright red. They'll be almost like a actually this actually this red is more like a candy. This one when it when it when it uh dries, it's almost like a candy apple looking red. That's actually what it is. I got fire hydrant red and then I got candy apple red. This one, I can tell by the color of it as, it, as it's going, it's candy apple red. Fire hydrant red is real bright, almost fluorescent red. My youngest son, he likes the candy apple, I mean the fluorescent red better than he does the candy apple red. Personally, I care less what the colors are. A lot of guys will powder coat them and it, and it is a good way to do it, to tell your pellets apart without having to look at them. Especially, in like, if you'd have as many as I do, I got 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 24, 25, and 36 calibers. Molds to make buckshot. So that's how many different buckshots I got made up in the other room there next to the reloading bench. But this is all it is to it, folks. Put them in a Tupperware jug with some powder coat, shake it up for a few minutes, strain it, strain the excess powder off, put them on a plate, throw them in the little toaster oven there and you're done it's good to do this in a ventilated area which i got all the windows open in, in in here i'm surrounded by three windows could turn the air on and i got an exhaust fan over there but um we'll look in a minute and see what it looks like they're just about totally done folks one more minute and that's how fast it is it's it it when you put them on the tumbler you gotta let them tumble oh anywhere if you use a harbor freight one it takes all night long i mean eight ten twelve hours 
you use that big homemade one I got right there with that big old air, I mean, uh, a uh, big fan motor on it. Yeah, it spins them things pretty fast, and I don't care how much weight I put on it. I can put 50 pounds of pellets on that thing, and it'll it'll spin them. Um, but you can do them in less than a third of the time. They'll be just as glossy, pearl black as they could be if you leave them on there for four or five hours. You ain't got to do nothing to them at that point in time. Let's see what we got, folks. Yep, they done, folks. That's it. You let them cool down about five minutes, whatever, and they'll just come right apart. Rub your hand across them. Put them in my bucket over there and load away. All right, I hope you enjoyed that high tech process I go through. Later.